Assalam o Alaikum. Welcome to live with Hasan Akhtar. Our today's lesson related to class ninth, unit number nine, introduction to coordinate geometry. In our previous classes, we discussed plane geometry, coordinate geometry. We talked about midpoint formula and distance formula also. Today we are going to utilize midpoint formula and distance formula together in one important question. For a review, we define let P x1 y1 and Q x2 y2 be two points in the plane then the midpoint R x y of the line segment PQ is defined as R x y is equal to R x1 plus x2 over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2 that is the sum of the x coordinates of two points divided by 2 comma sum of y coordinates of the given two points divided by 2 this is simply the midpoint formula and what is the distance formula we have already discussed it says that let p x1 y1 and q x2 y2 be two points in the coordinate plane where d the length of the line segment is pq that is absolute pq is equal to d absolute just representing that distance is always positive it is defined as inside the root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square we move ahead to the exercise 9.3 next question that is question number three statement of question is prove that midpoint of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equidistant from its three vertices p minus 2 5 q 1 3 and r minus 1 0 statement is clearly demanding that we have to prove that the midpoint of hypotenuse is equidistant from all the three vertices of the triangle and it is speaking about hypotenuse so it is a right angle triangle and for a right angle triangle Pythagoras theorem must be satisfied that is square of hypotenuse is equal to square of perpendicular plus square of base before we start the solution just have a look at the diagram this is a rough kind of working earlier in earlier stage we don't know where will be the place of the vertices p q and r we will calculate distance p q distance p r and distance q r will check the pythagoras theorem how it is going to be satisfied as it is given it is a right triangle so it must be satisfied and that will tell us that which side to be named as hypotenuse let us suppose in this order we made this is totally a rough working pr is representing the hypotenuse this kind of small circle you may assume that it is the midpoint of side pr if it is like this then we may name it like any alphabet and then we will have to check the distance formula that distance from this point to q distance from this point to r and distance between this point and point p they all must be equal hope you understand what will be our working so we start calculating all the distances first of all uh, let p minus 2 5 q 1 3 and r minus 1 0 be the vertices of the right triangle distance pq what is that by using x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square you can observe that x1 y1 is represented here minus 2 5 whereas x2 y2 is 1 3 so x2 minus x1 that is 1 minus into minus that will become 1 plus 2 whole square whereas y2 minus y1 that is 3 minus 5 whole square next step making the simplification it becomes 3 whole square plus minus 2 whole square inside the root you all know square of 3 is 9 where square of minus 2 is 4 so 9 plus 4 inside the root results in inside the root 13 next we calculate distance qr again utilizing the same distance formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square whole inside the root this time we have minus 1 minus 1 whole square 
plus 0 minus 3 whole square whole inside the root. Simplification gives us minus 2 whole square plus minus 3 whole square inside the root. That becomes inside the root 4 plus 9 and that is equal to root 13. We now calculate the next option left that is distance PR. Again applying the distance formula by looking at the values given now we have minus 1 plus 2 whole square plus 0 minus 5 whole square whole inside the root. Simplification gives us as minus 1 plus 2 this results plus 1 sorry this is human error little mistake. As you all know minus 1 whole square whereas plus 1 whole square results in same. So I have spoken the mistake just ignore that and make the correction while writing one whole square plus minus one whole square that results in one plus 25 inside the root that is equal to square root 26 now we check how it is going to fulfill the pythagoras theorem we see that pq square plus qr square that is equal to root 13 square plus root 13 square which results in 13 plus 13 that is equal to 26 and if you see our result of PR was inside the root 26 that is equal to PR whole square that is we have proved here PQ square plus QR square is equal to PR whole square so PQR is our right triangle with PR as hypotenuse we performed all this working just to confirm that which side is the hypotenuse. Now we will take the midpoint of the hypotenuse. Midpoint of side PR which is denoted as letter A. You may use any letter other than the letters PQR already utilized. We have minus 2 minus 1 over 2 comma 5 plus 0 over 2. Simplification gives us minus 3 over 2 comma 5 over 2. Choice is yours. Keep it the same fraction frame or convert it into decimal form. It in decimal form will become minus 1.5 comma 2.5. Now we take this point distance with all the three vertices and check that they all resulting in same answer or not. So utilizing distance formula here we have AP distance is equal to minus 2 minus into minus 1.5 whole square plus 5 minus 2.5 whole square whole inside the root simplification gives us minus 2 plus 1.5 whole square plus 5 minus 2.5 whole square whole inside the root further simplification it becomes inside the root minus 0.5 whole square plus 2.5 whole square viewers square of 0.5 results in 0.25 whereas square of 2.5 results in 6.25 making the addition inside the root we have 6.50 and utilizing calculator square root of 6.5 results in 2.55 we now take the distance between point a and point q distance aq is equal to 1 minus into minus 1.5 whole square plus 3 minus 2.5 whole square whole inside the root simplifying the values we have 1 plus 1.5 whole square plus 0.5 whole square 1 plus 1.5 results in 2.5 whereas 3 minus 2.5 results in 0.5 so we have inside the root 2.5 whole square plus 0.5 whole square that becomes 6.25 plus 0.25 that again results in inside the root 6.5 which the calculator gives us the value as is equal to 2.55 exactly same as the previous one. We now take the distance between points A and R by utilizing distance formula. Now we have minus 1 minus into minus 1.5 whole square plus 0 minus 2.5 whole square. The first one results in minus 1 plus 1.5 whole square plus minus 2.5 whole square. Simplification of the first results in 0.5. We have 0.5 whole square plus minus 2.5 whole square. We get in the next step inside the root 0.25 plus 6.25 and we have whole inside the root 6.5 root of 6.5 results in 2.55 we observe that all the answers are coming same that is 
डिस्टेंस ए पी इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस ए क्यू इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस ए आर एंड ईच वन इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट फाइव फाइव हैंस द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द हाई पटन्यूज ऑफ अ राइट ट्राइंगल इज इक्वी डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम इट्स थ्री वर्ड इज इज दैट कम्प्लीट्स द प्रूफ ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन थैंक यू वेरी मच